18 Omobody Street of Upper Sokoma Road in Benin City came alive at night following the funeral rites of Princess Uluabo Akenzwa, who died 60 years ago. In a remark, the Okaibe of the funeral arrangement, Prince Ulumuiwa Eweka said late Princess Uluabo Akenzwa was the younger sister to the transited Oba Ediawa. She said when the deceased died, her children were toddlers and maintained that they decided to give a befitting barrier to their mom. Giving her befitting barrier because then the father was on uh, in throne, so it's good at this time when he's no longer around. So it will take about 14 days ritual. After the funeral rites heard behind cameras, the eldest son of late Princess Uluabo Akezwa, Prince Nohi Utete Obaseki, said he was a baby when the mother passed on, while the sister Professor Rosemary Egonwa with the University of Lagos also took the same line with the brother and maintained that history has it that Princess Uluabo Akezwa was a virtuous woman who lived a fulfilled life before she was snatched away by the cool hands of death. What you are witnessing right now is the first in the garment of uh, activities. This one is called a Wawini. There are others that, that, that follow. They all said that she was very kind, she was caring, and she will give her last to just to please friends. Kusan coordinator Edo and Data States of Nigeria, Prince Biadu Egwakide, who is the son in law of the deceased, who chronicled the exploits of late Princess Uluabo Akezwa in line with her historical perspective, said she was a force to reckon with. A royalty cannot just pass on like that. All the rites of passage must be fulfilled. I'm privileged to be part of this ceremony as a, a grandson in law because uh, the woman whose uh, final rite of passage is being celebrated today is the mother of my father-in-law. The funeral rites of late Princess Uluabo Akenzwa continues. She died on the 14th day of September 1958. Wellington Hakodeja reporting.